All this week, Troy University students have the chance to honor the victims of the 9-11 attacks by volunteering in a week of service projects around the Troy community. We've moved from being a day of service really to a week of service to uh, really focus in on, on that particular event, but also the, uh, the legacy um, of, of the event and how we as, uh, as citizens have an obligation to our communities and to one another and, and to service uh, in that regard. The event is part of a National Day of Service, but Troy University expanded it into a whole week to allow more students to get involved. Uh, the simplest explanation is just, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to accommodate and, uh, students and their schedules, but also meet uh, as, as many needs as possible. And so uh, by expanding that out to a multi-day event, it allows us to kind of expand our footprint uh, here locally. There are a variety of tasks available for students to volunteer for that Sealand says anyone can do. Really, it's stuff that they can pick up at any point in time and, and go and execute without a, a whole lot of training or a whole lot of expertise. And so, uh, you know, that would include, uh, you know, going and doing um, activities with, with youth or uh, doing a park improvement project or painting, um, doing some very specific, like, hands-on uh, tactile things that uh, they, can, uh, they can, you know, pick up relatively quickly and then go and uh, implement. To sign up, Sealand says students need to pay a visit to the service learning office in Eldridge Hall and put their name on the big board. We'll register folks in our office so they can stop by, register themselves or their group uh, with uh, a massive you know, big board of, of opportunities that we're, that we're coordinating that week. And uh, those will sign up and then uh, we'll get their contact information, follow up with some specifics about where to, uh, where to show up, what to wear, what to expect, things of that nature. 